Luke Thomas backstage at the Lander Center at Bellator 120 next to the man who opened the show on pay-per-view, MVP Michael Venom Page just dispatching with Ricky Rainey. Did that go about as well as you had hoped? I actually wanted it to go a little bit better. I, was, I, I thought I could have been a little bit more flashy. No, I'm joking. I, I'm, I'm happy with the way it went. Um, you can't ask for anything better being on a show like this, opening such a big show, um, and obviously getting a result I wanted. So, Listen, it must just be second nature. I've seen Anderson Silva do some incredible things. I've never seen an opponent look away and then have his opponent do nothing to him. Like, not, 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 not because he didn't try, because he couldn't. Yeah. Have you done the look away? I mean, how much of this is rehearsed and how much of this is improvisational? What, what, what's the balance there? The weird thing is uh, a lot of people think I'm putting it on as I go in there. Um, I've been doing this for a long time, just not in this sport. So um, my sport, freestyle kickboxing, also known as like point scoring, a lot of people haven't seen it. It's not marketed. So when I'm doing all of my stuff, it's not getting to anybody. No one's seeing it. So when I'm coming into the cage now, everyone's like, well, What's this? It's uh, something I've been doing for years, so I'm comfortable in there doing it. Ricky Rainey was an opponent if you paid attention to his career. I mean, he is who he is, but he has a nice, well-rounded skill set, good power. Did, did, was the game plan what with him? Like, knowing he was capable just about everywhere, but not maybe excellent anywhere, what were you hoping to do? Just the dance and striking thing you did or there, or was there something you were particularly worried about? Um, so the only thing I was not even worried about, that I was just being cautious of that uh, he was going to try and... Uh, almost uh, nullify my movement, waste time uh, up against the cage, which he tried a couple of times. I got my turn off, I separated again, and uh, got, got my game on. So to be honest, it's just about being me. As an incremental fight, each fight should get a little bit tougher. Do you feel like this was a good experience for you? Because there were, like you mentioned, a couple times he had you against the fence, he tried a couple of takedowns. Do you feel like that was a really valuable cage time for you? A hundred percent. You know what, every time I step into the cage, uh, whether it be in the gym or, or, or out on, on show, I'm learning uh, every single time. So. Uh, I'm, I'm just enjoying it. I'm loving it. The elephant in the room now, the booing. Because if you watch any of your highlights or your fights on YouTube, everyone's chanting MVP in your native England. Were you surprised you got the boos, or maybe you were expecting that as the as the as the British guy coming here? To be honest, I, I was actually expecting it because yeah, I, I was I was the one coming over, and it's weird because a lot of those people at the time will they'll hate it because maybe because they you know they're supporting the the the, the opposition. But they'll go back and look at that on, on film and be like, no, you know what, that is, that is incredible like, to, to be able to move like that and, and, and actually pull off a win against a, a really tough opponent. You know Bellator has the tournament model, but you're still you know, in the developmental stage of your career. Have you had talks with Bellator? Do you want a couple more fights like this, non-tournament fights, and then maybe get into it? What is the, what's the game plan? For me, I always say I'm, I'm taking my time. Um, I, I want to improve as a fighter. And when you see me in a tournament, it means I'm at a serious stage of my career and you're going to see me go through the tournament, uh, get to the final and aim for that belt. Well, I mean, if it's anything like what we saw there, we can't wait for the tournament or non-tournament belts. Congratulations. Way to open the show. You want to have a statement? Yeah, you know, just uh, training with the London Street Fight uh, guys. I've got people like Martin Held who also did his thing out there today. Uh, I'm training alongside guys like him, John Hathaway, um, Carlos Vermola. There's, like, there's so many guys at the gym, and I want to thank all of them, plus my coaches at London Shoot, Alexis and Paul, for everything they've done for me. Well, you guys are all beasts. Congratulations. Can't wait to see you again. Thank you. Thank you, sir.